Okay, hello. Uh, this is John John Z. Hodgson. I'm back. And um, this is actually take two of the lighting portion of this tutorial since the last file got corrupted or some such shenanigans. So I'm going to try to do this again. And um, hopefully Windows Movie Maker won't be such a total piece of crap when it comes to taking files and using them. I don't know. Whatever. So this tutorial is about lighting and we're going to start a little bit with basic lighting and uh, the next uh, section of this tutorial which I already have done is um, about skyboxing and uh, outdoor lighting but for this one we're just going to talk about indoor lighting um, simple lights, I'm going to go through two different kinds of lights the two that you'll probably most often use uh, which are just simple lights the light entity and the light spot entity. And uh, so let's get started. So I've already opened up uh, the old tutorial map with our two spawns, red and blue. And I want to illustrate both of the lights, uh, one in each section. Okay. Lights are entities, kind of like props are, or spawns. So go to your entities and under objects type in light and you'll get a selection of uh, of light giving uh, or, or light simulating entities. Click on the most basic one right here which is light and click anywhere in the room. Now you should have this little entity that looks like a light bulb and that's where the light is obviously going to come from. So with the light entity, let's just go ahead and pull up its properties this basic light entity is going to uh, emit light from the center of its uh, of its being, so to speak, and uh, distribute it evenly across um, across the room. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit more of a shine at the uh, at the uh, ceiling here, where it's closer than you are near the floor or the corners. And you can modify the values of uh, how bright it is or what color it is underneath this brightness value right here which is probably the more, most important value here that you're going to uh, modify. For these basic lights I found that um, lowering the brightness a bit is the best is the best way to get some um, more realistic looking lighting but uh, really when you're talking about lights uh, it takes a lot of testing to see what looks the best given uh, what textures you're using and how big your map is and or how big the particular room is where your lights are. And you, need, you should either use multiple lights um, to light up rooms brightly or just lights with high brightness. But you don't want to make it look unrealistic. So for this one let's make the brightness 100 and just out of, uh, just for um, kicks, Let's pick a color. Pick whatever color you like. I don't know. I'm going to go with a, a light yellow tint. And you can change the color that way. Then hit apply. And if you did change the color, then you notice that the light actually looks a little bit different. It looks a little tinted yellow in my... Uh, that's not just the mouse with the, the uh, color pointer on it. But it actually does look a little bit tinted. And then that's how you make a basic light. It really is pretty simple. A light by itself really doesn't make any sense, though. So let's make a uh, let's put a prop static right above it, so that um, and then go under world model here, and then type in ground, and then I'm going to find these ones that say ground lights. Uh, ground light 002 will be fine. Apply. I'm going to flip this over. On the side view, uh, vertically, yep. And then stick that on the ceiling. And then stick the wall up, or the light up there. So now it's going to look like the light is coming out of our prop here. Props by themselves don't actually emit light, but they do give a helpful um, point of reference to where light's coming from. It doesn't make any sense to have just a light, but nothing uh, that looks like it's emitting it. it kind of breaks the attention. Not like our um, 
developer textures are going to do that anyway. But something to keep in mind when you're uh, when you're mapping. So that's a basic light. For light spots, I'm going to go over here to the red spawn and make a different kind of light. Hit entities again, and then type in light. Except this time, instead of just a normal light, we're going to pick light spot, and then put that on the ceiling. OK, so this light looks a little bit more complex. It looks kind of like a um, one of those uh, movie uh, professional lighting kind of lamp things. So as you can probably guess from the shape of this thing, it means that light is going to be coming out of this cone, uh, this conical area, and it's going to be most intense inside the cone. The computer will automatically um, reference, or it will um, calculate light bouncing off the walls and the floors to light other parts, so that doesn't mean everything's, everything else is going to be dark. Um, but this is where the light's going to be most intense. And this is the way that lights in the real world normally work, or certain kinds of lights. Um, if you wanted to do something like a bare bulb kind of action, then you would use a normal light, like we did over in the blue spawn. But this is more of a lamp um, simulation. For example, I'm going to pull up a um, another prop static here. Again, it doesn't do much good to have lights without um, places where they might have come from. It just it grinds my gears. Yes, so lamp, rocket clamp. No, we don't want rockets. Okay, there we go. So industrial ceiling lamp. Apply. Let's put that on the wall. And. So, you can kind of see, this light's going to make a little bit more sense. We don't want the light coming out of the bot or out of the top of the lamp, because that's the part that's shaded. And likewise, we don't want to come in, uh, have it coming out the sides of the lamp. We want to have it coming down in a nice conical kind of fashion. The properties that you can modify with a light spot, most importantly, are obviously the brightness and the color which is the same as um, the normal light that we just did a while ago. Although, in this case, I found that increasing the brightness is almost mandatory for using these. Um, so I'm going to boost this to 1,000. Apply. I'm going to keep it white for now. And other basic functions that you should be aware of are this inner angle and this outer angle. The inner angle is the angle at which the light will be at its uh, full strength. So within 30 degrees of this, um, of the downward uh, uh, pointing of the light, within the 30 degree cone of that is going to be the light is going to be its brightest, and then it will fade out until it gets to 45 degrees, and after that, um, the light technically doesn't um, doesn't directly hit that area. Let's increase that to let's say 45 for the inner angle, and I don't know, uh, 80 for the outer angle. And then you hit apply, and then, then you can see that our angles have increased significantly. Now it looks like anything under here is a much bigger angle, and it's going to directly light all of that area. Another thing when you're uh, making these, or any kinds of lights, is not to put, it, put the lights inside props. If you do that, it might look like it's more uh, realistic looking, but actually, in the game, the light will be inside the prop, and it will not shine out of the prop, which means that everything will be dark. So keep your light uh, just outside of the bounding box of your prop, and you should be fine. So let me save this all, and then give it a try running.